Or Shalom, Shalom. I want to start off by giving all praises, glory, and the highest honor to Yahweh by Hashem, Yahweh Shai by Hashem, Kadash, the bonus to my elders and apostles, a great millstone, which are the men that rule well, and who taught us his truth, peace, blessings, and salutations to the elect. The low one of the title of the lesson will be Trusting in the Name is of the Elect Only, which is inspired by a scripture in the book of Zephaniah, uh, the third chapter. All right. <clears throat> uh, the third chapter in the 12th verse. I'm going to read it in the. Uh, I believe NLT. Yeah, NLT. Just to get a little better understanding of it. All right. Just wanted to go into that. Because, um, you know, trusting in the name of Yahweh Bashim Yahushai, you know, is something that the elect is going to do 100%, man. That's a big part of that. You know, because uh, at the end of it all, it speaks about, when it speaks about the elect and their coronation and that time, it speaks about how the name of the Most High is, is, is sealed, you know, in their, in their minds. Right? It speaks about that. Uh, it also speaks about how, you know, they, they didn't receive the mark of the beast, which is the RFID chip, right? Things like that. But one important thing about the elect is the name. They have the name of the Most High and His Son. Okay? So Zephaniah 3 and 8. <clears throat> and I only have a, a few scriptures, not not too many. You know, I just want to... I don't plan on making this too long. I just wanted to hit the point. So Zephaniah 3 and 8. Therefore, wait ye upon me, saith the Lord. We all know the scripture. Till the day that I rise up to the prey. Right? Because another thing is that, you know, we ain't we separate from these other camps because some preach, um, you know, to kind of take vengeance now in a way or to at least look like a lot of pump faking and stuff like that. Right. And, you know, the Lord said to wait upon him, man, to wait upon him. OK. So it says uh, for my determination is to gather the nations. Right. The other heathen, the heat, the rest of the nations that I may assemble the kingdoms. To pour upon them my indignation, which is righteous anger, is even all my fierce anger. For all the earth shall be devoured with fire, with the fire of my jealousy, right? Because the Lord is possessive over us. For then will I turn to the people a pure language, that they may call upon the name of the Lord to serve, to serve him with one consent, right? Now, this part, verse 9, will happen before verse 8, okay? Because... We know the name of the Lord now. It's not going to be in the kingdom that we're going to know. No, we know it now. And we believe it through faith. Okay? Now is when we were given the, uh, the rev we were revealed the name of the Lord in these times. It was manifested in these times. Because when you read Baruch, the second chapter, it speaks about how, you know, those who, uh, um, those uh, Israelites that would uh, uh, remember who they are, Right? It also said that they would think upon uh, my name, talking about the Lord's name, right? Well, guess what? That's in captivity. That's not after the missiles. That's during captivity, okay? So that's how you know that verse 9 is not talking about in the kingdom of heaven. It's talking about here on this side first. It says um, that they may call upon the name of the Lord, Yahweh Shai, to serve him with one consent. From beyond the rivers of Ethiopia, my... My suppliance, even the daughter of my dispersed shall bring mine offering, right? Because where no matter where we got scattered to, if the, if someone's of the elect, they're going to wake up somehow, some way. And we believe that even if it's in the middle of nowhere in Ethiopia, right? <clears throat> it says, um, in that day shalt thou not be ashamed for all thy doings, wherein thou hast transgressed against me. For then will I take away, for then... I will take away out of the midst of thee them that rejoice in thy pride, and thou shalt no more be haughty because of my holy mountain. I will also leave in the midst of thee an afflicted and poor people, and they shall trust in the name of the Lord. That's talking about the elect. Right? Because <clears throat> the Lord is coming. When he comes back, Yahweh Shai, when, when Yahweh Shai comes back, he's coming to who? To save a remnant. A remnant shall be saved, man. Okay? It's not everybody. It's not every single Israelite is not going to get picked up by a chariot. Okay? Uh, according to the scriptures, all right? Of course, everybody, all of us will be in the kingdom of heaven, right? But we're not all going to get delivered the first go-around. We're all going to be there, though. You know, the, those that died on this side will come into the kingdom later on, be born again. All right? Now, it says, um, Zephaniah, I'm going to read it again, 3 and 8, but in the NLT. <coughs> It says, therefore, be patient, says the Lord. Soon I will stand and accuse these evil nations for I have decided to gather the kingdoms of the earth and pour out my fiercest anger and fury on them. 
and all, all the earth will be devoured by the fire of my jealousy. Then will I purify the speech of all people so that everyone can worship the Lord together. Now that's talking about within Israel. That's, that's a little, you know, that's a little off because they, they want to say that so that everyone can worship the Lord together, right? The speech of all people. No, that's talking about all the people within his nation. All right. Can we read it up here? What did it say? Then will I turn to the people of pure language that they may call upon the name of the Lord, right? With, with one consent, they may, they may serve one with consent. Not everybody's going to serve the Lord. What did it just say up here? It says that he's going to uh, st stand against the um, and accuse the evil nations, right? I say, no, it's not talking about everybody. It says, um, so they go off a little bit there so that everyone can worship the Lord together. It's talking about within Israel and the elect within Israel, not, not just all of Israel. It says, my scattered people who live beyond the rivers of Ethiopia will come to present their offerings. On that day, you will no longer need to be ashamed for you will no longer be rebels against me. I will remove all proud and arrogant people from among you. There will be no more haughtiness on, on my holy mountain, right? Because what did the scripture say? That the Lord's going to, uh, it said the sinners of my people shall die by the sword. That, that's going to happen on this side, right? Of course, we're all sinners, but those who are, uh, who live within the lifestyle of sin, those who choose not to repent, that's who the Lord's talking about. That's who he's going to put to death. It says, um, there will be no more haughtiness on my holy mountain. Verse 12, those who are left will be the lowly and humble. Those who are left, right? That's the election, right? Who, you know, because what? Only the elect is going to do this. Only the elect is going to, going to do this and be delivered. It says, those who are left will be the lowly and humble for it is they who trust in the name of the Lord. Right, man. Now let's get, now let's get another scripture. Proverbs 18 and 10. The name of the Lord is a strong tower. The righteous runneth into it and is safe. Who's the righteous at this time? Those who believe in Yahweh. That's why in Romans, the third chapter, it speaks about how there's a new, there's a new righteousness bearing, even, it even was bear, bears witness by uh, the prophets, right? In the scriptures and things like that. And what that new righteousness is faith in Yahweh. There's a righteousness without the law that is manifested, like it says in Romans, the third chapter, right? So that's the righteous. Those who believe in Hamashiach Yahweh Shai, Yahweh Ba'ashem Yahweh Shai, right? So that's why I said what I said here. Those who are left will be the lowly and humble. That's the elect, right? The elect are going to be the lowly. They're the humble. They're the meek. That's why the Lord said the meek shall inherit the earth. It's simple, man. Okay? It says the righteous, uh, the name of the Lord is a strong tower, but the righteous runneth into it and is safe. Yeah, the name. That word there for name. Pretty sure it's Sean. Let me get it real quick. <clears throat> yep, Sham, which means name. Also means reputation, fame, glory, the name, memorial, monument. Yeah, but ultimately it means name. Okay, the name of the Lord is a strong tower. The righteous run into it and it's safe. Right? The Lord is talking about Yahweh. We say, Ba'ashim Yahushai. Isaiah 12 and 1. And in that day, thou shalt say, O Lord, I will praise thee. Though thou wast angry with me, thine anger is turned away and thou comfortest me. Behold, the Most High is my salvation. I will trust and not be afraid. For the Lord, Yahweh. Right? I know it says Jehovah, but we know that the Lord, His name is Yahweh. It says, For the Lord, Yahweh, is my strength. We say, Ba'ashim Yahushai, because He's the mediator. Yahweh Shai is the mediator. And he said, anything you ask in the Father in my name, talking about him. You see? It says, the Lord Yahweh is my strength and my song. He also has become my salvation, right? Because salvation is only promised to the elect. So when it comes down to salvation, that ain't even all Israel, man. Anything that has to do with salvation, it's not for everybody. All right? Salvation is only for the elect. That's what, it, that's what the scriptures say. It says it's promised, it's promised only to the elect. Scriptures speak about the elect being delivered. And don't speak about all Israel. The only time it speaks about all Israel is talking about the kingdom. When it says that the whole mountain of the Lord will praise him, right? In the kingdom, yeah, we'll all be uh, uh, righteous. But in these times, the Lord's coming back for the elect. It says, therefore, with joy shall ye draw water out of the wells of salvation. And in that day shall ye praise, shall ye say, praise the Lord, call upon his name, declare his doings among the people. 
make mention that his name is exalted. Right? That's right, man. And we're doing that now, too. You see? We're doing that now. All right? We're begging. We're also what? We're, we're begging for salvation. The Lord's going to save us, Lord willing. And we're going to praise the Lord. All right? And, 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 and when you read, man, the scriptures, man, when it comes down to our remembrance, coming into remembrance, man... A lot of times, man, especially like I mentioned in Baruch earlier, man, it, it speaks about how we would we would think upon the name of the Lord. So we have to call upon him, man. And that's a, an attribute, a characteristic of the elect. Trusting in the name is of the elect only, man. All right. So I hope that uh, this video is edifying. I hope I hit the points. You know, I hope, you know, I hope that you understood what I said. All right. I hope everything made sense to the spirit, man. It's made spiritual sense. So with that, I want to give all praise to you. How about Shemiel Al Shabbat Shem Dash. The honors unto my elders and my apostles, a great millstone, to the men that rule men, Tarsus truth, peace, blessings, and citations, as always, to the elect. Shalom.